Hello traders. In today's video, we're going to explore the process of connecting our custom Python code to TradeTron. This can be particularly useful when TradeTron doesn't provide the accurate values you need for your trading strategy. In such cases, you can write your custom code to obtain the correct values and then connect it to TradeTron to execute your trades. Let's dive into the details. First, let's consider a simple trading strategy. In this strategy, we'll focus on the 5-minute chart of Bank Nifty Futures. The entry conditions are as follows. For a long entry, if the close of the candle two periods ago, let's call it minus 2, is below the VWAP, and the close of the previous candle, minus 1, is above the VWAP, it's a signal for a long entry. Conversely, for a short entry, if the close of minus 2 is above the VWAP, and the close of minus 1 is below the VWAP, it's a signal for a short entry. Please note that we won't define specific targets or stop losses in this example, but you can add them based on your risk-reward preferences and money management. Please keep in mind that we're using this example for illustration purposes. We're not recommending this strategy for trading. Trading in futures and options carries significant risks, so it's essential to consult with a financial advisor before making any trading decisions. Now, let's take a look at a chart. We've selected a Bank Nifty Futures chart with 5-minute candles. At 9.40 a.m., the candle closed at 44,460, and the VWAP value was 44,459.81. Since this candle's close is above the VWAP, and the previous candle, 9.35 a.m., closed below the VWAP, it's a long entry signal. You can choose to enter a long position in the futures market or consider a call option. Once you enter a trade, you can use the low of the previous candle as your stop loss and set a target, such as a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. Remember to adjust your trading approach to suit your risk tolerance and preferences. Now, let's address the problem with TradeTron. The strategy we discussed was created on TradeTron, but it doesn't involve custom code. When we check the VWAP value in the strategy runtime data on TradeTron, it shows a value of 44,459.86, which doesn't match the exact VWAP value from the chart. While this difference may be small in today's less volatile market, it can become more significant in highly volatile markets, leading to incorrect trades. So, what's the solution? We can create custom Python code to fetch accurate VWAP values and continue using TradeTron for order placement and management. We've executed the same strategy using our custom code and TradeTron, and the results are promising. The VWAP values from our code match those on the chart. Here's a brief overview of how to connect your custom Python code to TradeTron. Log in to your TradeTron account. Go to My Strategies and select the strategy you want to integrate with Python. Click on API OAuth token, choose API Control to Link, and set Hybrid Mode to Yes. This will provide you with a link and a token. Copy the link to your notepad for later use. We've covered the basics of integrating custom Python code with TradeTron. However, TradeTron has many features and details that we can't cover comprehensively in this video. If you'd like more in-depth information, please let us know in the comments below, and we can consider creating a dedicated video on the topic. Let's move on to the Python coding part. Start by importing the necessary libraries, including time, requests, config parser, the Fires API, we use Fires to fetch VWAP values, but you can use another broker's API if preferred, pandas, pandas underscore to, for technical analysis, datetime, and others. Set the variable IST to handle the Indian Standard Time Zone IST, because when running strategies on AWS servers, it's crucial to specify the correct time zone. Utilize config parser to fetch client details, such as the client ID, from a config.ini file. You can also include other details like the access token and bank nifty futures symbol in the config file. Generate the access token, which we've covered in a previous video. You can find the link to that video in the description. Create a fires object, define the bank nifty futures symbol, and set a flag to false. To run this strategy throughout the day, use a while loop that calls the get underscore candle underscore details function every 5 minutes. 
Inside the get underscore candle underscore details function, set a global flag variable. Create a symbol data structure that includes the symbol, a resolution of 5 for 5 minute data, date ranges, and other relevant information to fetch candle details. You can store these details in the config file to avoid modifying the code daily. Use the fires object to call the history function with the symbol data. Create a data frame from the received data, set the index, and calculate the VWAP values using the pandas underscore to module. Print the details for reference and set the flag to true to avoid redundant VWAP calculations. Now, let's implement the core strategy logic. If the close of minus 2 candle is less than minus 2 candles VWAP, and the close of minus 1 candle is higher than minus 1 candles VWAP, it's a long trade. Use the link created in Tradetron and the requests module to pass the long underscore trade as a keyword with a value of 1. When Tradetron receives this signal, it will execute the trade. Similarly, for the short trade, if the close of minus 2 candle is higher than minus 2 candles VWAP, and the close of minus 1 candle is less than minus 1 candles VWAP, it's a short entry. Use the same URL but change the keyword to short underscore trade with a value of 1. With this, we've completed the coding part of our strategy. You can also incorporate your stop loss and target logic into the Python code and call the APIs accordingly. I assume you're familiar with crafting trading strategies using Tradetron. Let's delve into some foundational concepts. When you navigate to set one entry criteria, you'll notice the inclusion of the get runtime variable long underscore trade value that we're passing through our custom code. Similarly, we're employing the short underscore trade value for short trades. To enhance your strategies, consider incorporating additional parameters such as start times, end times, and existing position checks to prevent unintended re-entries. In this demonstration, my focus is solely on illustrating the entry phase without proceeding further. However, within both set 1 and set 2, you have the flexibility to expand your strategy. Set 1 caters to long trades, while set 2 is tailored for short trades. Within these sets, you can also establish your stop loss, target, and trailing stop loss strategies. Make the most of Tradetron for effectively managing your trades. If you have any questions about today's topic, please feel free to ask in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos like this. Thank you, and happy trading!